Software as a Service, or SaaS, allows users to connect to and use cloud-based apps over the internet. Common examples of software as a service include email, calendaring, and office tools such as Microsoft Office 365. Software as a service provides a complete software solution that organizations purchase on a pay-as-you-go basis from cloud service providers such as Microsoft Azure. The organization essentially rents the use of an application for that organization and then the users of that organization connect to it over the internet typically with a web browser. The app software that's running, the app data, all of this stuff is located in the service provider's data center. In this case, it would be Azure's data centers. The cloud service provider manages the hardware and the software, and with the appropriate service agreement, that cloud service provider ensures availability and security of the application along with the data. Software as a service allows an organization to get up to speed quickly running with an application and minimal upfront cost. If you've ever used a web-based email service like Outlook or Hotmail or Gmail, then you've already been exposed to a form of software as a service. When you use services like this, you log into an account over the internet, typically from a web browser, and then run the email software which is located on the service provider's network. The emails are stored in there as well. Essentially, you can access your mail and your stored messages from anywhere with any web browser on any computer as long as it's internet connected. Now, obviously, these previous examples were free services that are available for personal use. For organizational use, a company can rent productivity apps such as email, calendaring, collaboration, and such, even sophisticated business applications such as CRM and ERP can be rented for use. The organization simply pays for the use of these apps by subscription or according to the level of use. With software as a service, organizations can gain access to sophisticated applications without needing to purchase, install, update, or maintain any hardware, middleware, or software associated with them. Even the most sophisticated enterprise applications such as ERP and CRM become affordable for organizations that otherwise may not be able to afford them. This is essentially because organizations are only going to pay for what they use. When leveraging software as a service, an organization is only going to pay for what it uses. It saves money because the software as a service service automatically scales up and down based on the level of usage. An organization's users can run most software as a service applications directly from their browsers without the need to download and install any software, although some applications may require plugins. That said, this means that organizations typically don't need to purchase and install any special software for their users. Software as a service allows organizations to mobilize their workforces easily. This is because the organization's users can access software as a service applications from any internet connected computer or mobile device. Organizations don't need to worry about developing apps to run on different types of computers and devices because the service provider has already done so. Additionally, the organization doesn't need to bring in special expertise to manage the security issues inherent in mobile computing. The cloud service provider typically ensures the security of the data regardless of the type of device that's consuming that data. Software as a service is beneficial in many different situations. Those situations include startup companies and small companies that need to launch e-commerce quickly. In such cases, these companies typically don't have time for server issues or software installations, so software as a service becomes very beneficial to them. Short-term projects that require collaboration 
also benefit from software as a service. Another cool use case for software as a service is when you have an application that isn't in demand very often. A good example of this would be tax software. For eight months of the year, it's probably not used much, but come January, February, March, and April, this tax software will typically get hit pretty hard. So software as a service can help in this case. And obviously, applications that require both web and mobile access can also benefit from software as a service. A few examples of software as a service include Google Apps, Salesforce, Dropbox, Cisco WebEx, GoToMeeting, etc.